obsession with the Pontiac Aztec started at a young age, 13 years old to be exact. That's how old I was when the Aztec was released in the summer of 2000. I remember seeing an article on it in my July 2000 issue of Car and Driver magazine and later reading the actual road test article in the October 2000 issue. The first time seeing it out in public gave me the itch to want to sit in one and experience the Aztec for myself. That was when a friend of mine and myself visited the local Pontiac dealership in December 2000 and took a look at the brand new Pontiac Aztec for ourselves. I was overjoyed just sitting in it, looking around the cabin and seeing things like the camping package in person. I thought all Pontiac vehicles were amazing, especially the Grand Am. But the Aztec took that amazing to a whole new level. I told myself that one day, I'll have one of these. Fast forward seven years later, and we'll see that I finally had the opportunity to purchase one for myself. A 2003 Pontiac Aztec, finished in liquid silver metallic, with only 64,000 miles on the clock. I drove it for an entire afternoon and ended up driving it off the lot for good a day or two later. I finally had my Aztec. Most kids dream of owning everything from Ferraris, Lamborghinis and Porsches to Corvettes, Mustangs and Camaros. But I'm almost certain that I was the only kid in existence who dreamt of owning an Aztec. I made that dream come true. Throughout the 57,253 miles that I put on my Aztec, I've had many ups and downs. I've had to deal with two head gasket repairs, a couple of hub changes, one broken brake line, a broken transmission shift interlock, electronic failure due to a weak battery, one burned out fan speed switch, some minor water damage for not closing my sunroof one night, and a delay in my transmission shifts toward the end of ownership. However, despite all of the things my Aztec put me through, I couldn't hate it. I loved the car from the day I brought it home to the sad day that I decided to trade it in for something newer, and I've missed it dearly ever since. I will miss it. Farewell, my friend. You've been great, and I will miss you. I honestly never thought I'd find myself the opportunity to purchase another Aztec. The older I get, the older they get. And the older they get, the harder they are to find in really decent shape. So, here I am with the opportunity to purchase a 2004 Pontiac Aztec and champagne beige metallic with 132,000 miles on the clock. It looks good for its age, but does it perform well for it? I drove it for a whole hour without any issue other than noticing some minor rear brake drum noise and a broken gas gauge. Yet, I was very pleased with it. I felt good being back in the driver's seat of the Aztec, remembering exactly how comfortable and quiet the ride is, as well as how responsive the handling reacts to my commands. I scoped out as much as I was able to on this particular model, and I didn't see enough wrong with it to tell me not to buy it this time as a collector car and not as my primary vehicle. I've anxiously been waiting for days and days to know if I was able to get a loan out on this vehicle. Due to other circumstances that surround this vehicle and my two other current auto loans, I wasn't able to find out right away if I am taking home what would be my second Aztec ownership. Until now. The moment has finally come. Do I have ownership of yet another Pontiac Aztec? And that answer is... Unfortunately, no. And let me tell you guys why. So everything throughout this process was actually going really well. Um, I was able to actually, like the, the sales guys at the dealership were able to really give me a good price on this Aztec, especially for how good of shape it, it is in. Um, so I mean, I was really happy with the price that I was getting. And I took that price to the bank, obviously, and uh, they actually 
approved the loan for the car and uh, you know I was actually the loan officer you know she gave me some really really good terms um, the payments would have been really affordable uh, every month I mean I thought for sure that I was going to be you know leaving with that Aztec today because everything was actually working out so well and she um, like I said you know the the length of the loan was perfect and the, the amounts the payment amounts would have been would have been good everything was well um, the final step is it had to obviously go across her supervisor and um, the supervisor gives the okay uh, for all the stuff and the supervisor did not want to give me the loan for what I was qualified for so she actually wanted to cut the amount of time more than half and the Aztec would have had to have been paid off in a two-year period which means the payments would have been way higher than what I was willing to pay and what I can pay each month and um, it is very upsetting and I am I am very upset about this whole ordeal because I have had people like the sales guys and the, the actual loan officer you know they both were really awesome to work with and they were getting it in a nice range so that way I can bring the car home and afford it every month but takes one person who just doesn't want to give you that advantage <laughs> and uh, I mean if, if obviously if I didn't have the other two car loans if I didn't have one of these car loans I could make it happen but I cannot do three car loans that are you know going to be substantially high every month so unfortunately guys this 04 Aztec purchase will not be taking place and I am very bummed. I feel like I found a good one. I found even the the loan officer was surprised that it being as old as it is, it's still under miles and the value of it is actually higher <laughs> than what they usually go for for that time frame. But I, I'm just so upset that it takes one person to completely flip everything upside down. And now I can't, um, I just cannot bring what I want home, unfortunately. And it would have been a good investment for this channel, I think. There aren't too many channels on YouTube that feature a lot of Aztec content. And I would have, um, I w definitely would have done a lot of how-to videos or a lot of tutorials. I would have done just... You know me, I would have had a lot of stuff to, to put as you know on the channel in regards to that Aztec. But that's not gonna stop me from getting one. Uh, you know, I'll give it a little more time and uh, you know I'm probably not gonna go out looking for one. Um, but I'll wait a little bit uh, longer and I don't know, we'll see what the future holds, but hopefully you know, I'll find one that was just as good, if not better, than the one that I was trying to get. Ugh, just, every time it crosses my mind, it just really upsets me. So that's the scenario, guys. I'm, I'm really sorry. I'm bummed out. I was, I, I was almost certain that I was going to be bringing this car home. And I was, if it hadn't been for this last minute change in our plan. So, but uh, thanks for sticking around, you know, I guess we'll just have to move on from it. I will see you guys next time, so thanks for watching, take care.